As I come up here to get ready to shoot this target, I'm going to get in a good solid stance. I'm going to make sure that this 10 o'clock position of my shoulders and my body is correct, that this 2 o'clock position here, right over top, or the midline of my body, is right at about 2 o'clock. From a good neutral gun mount, my gun's going to be right down the center line of that walk, and I'm going to be just to the outside right edge of that center target. I'm going to take a look at the target here, pull. Now what I've done is kind of equate that height of that target and where I saw that target as a whole and clear target. For me, it's just about in the top third of those trees out there, from the grass up about a third into those trees. Now I'm going to hold that, that barrel line right onto that line as I, as I get ready to mount my shotgun. My eyes are going to be just over top of the gun barrel, right on a parallel line, right into the center of my pattern, and I'm going to wait for that target to clear this gun barrel right into this position. And when that target clears that gun barrel, at that point in time, I'm going to then press right to that target. I'm going to make this left hand feel like it's almost just trying to reach out and touch that target. As that is happening, it's not only going to be in the left hand, but it's going to come from the left side of the body or the left foot. As I set the gun and I'm ready to call pull, I'm going to have some weight distribution right into the left foot, and it's going to create this straight line. That's going to be my pivot axis. So as I set that position, 55% of the weight into the left foot, I make the call and I step gradually toward that target, being careful not to drive this arm up or to disconnect this hip and push it up, but to just to set the barrel and move it right towards that target. Let's take a shot at one and see how this works. Ball. Okay, what you saw there was a very good setup application and a very good shot delivery. We had just a slight bit of up move to that target. This target's just a little higher than I had anticipated. I don't mind a little bit of vertical move into that gun barrel as long as we spread it over a longer period of time. I'd rather take that gun and move it up on a very sh long, long parallel versus just from here and get that gun barrel so far up into that target. Some of you guys that are having problem with your point of impact, this is what you're doing. You're driving that gun up just a little bit too, too aggressively with the left hand. Now we got a really special treat here for you guys. We're going to show you the Sunrise Productions iCam. This is going to really allow you to see just what I am seeing. Ball. That happened pretty fast, didn't it? Pretty cool, huh? Let's take a look at that shot in slow motion. As you're watching that target, notice where the hold point is. Notice how the gun is nice and consistent, good and parallel gun. Notice that it's nice and quiet. You're not seeing a lot of movement with that shotgun at this time. 